I get my chickens today. They actually just called. They're in the post office right now. My cousin said he's gonna go grab them for me. I think I'm ready. I'm just gonna throw them some water, some some grit, and some oyster shells, and see what happens. I'm gonna let that run a little. I ran it a few days ago for a while just to get everything out of it. It hasn't been ran all winter. But I'm gonna run it some more before I give them water to drink. Should be fine either way. Our well water's, I tested it, it's drinkable. While I let that run a little bit, I'm gonna go downstairs and grab the feed for them. I have some water out, threw some food down for them. I'll throw some more out when they get here. I'll probably spoil them for a few weeks. But I think I'm ready. Um, I did order some pine shavings to put in the bottom of my, of my little temporary coop on the suggestion of one of my viewers, Jim. Also had some people mention I should do some deep bedding in here with some wood chips or hay or something like that. I want to, I have a huge pile of wood chips the problem is I ordered it before winter and the day he was coming was supposed to be clear but I woke up and had about six inches of snow. So I called him and he had already left and I didn't want him to turn around, I wanted the chips. So I had him dump the load uh, on the front of our property on one of the logging roads. And it's not a problem, I can grab them easily in the spring. I thought I was gonna be able to get them once the, when the snow started to melt. But now that it's snowed again, it's gonna take me a few weeks till my cart is gonna be able to get back and grab those. So I think I've done all I can do to this point. I'll make do with what I have until the snow melts and I can go and grab it.
Okay, so I'm outside in my greenhouse, let the girls out. The good news is four of them are running around eating, drinking. They seem, he they seem healthy. Uh, the bad news is one of them is pretty lethargic and just doesn't seem to be moving. It's hunched over, has her head drawn in like a turtle. I'm gonna isolate her, try to get her to drink some water and, and eat some food. I'm gonna put some diatomaceous earth in the food and some apple cider vinegar in the water. If you have any other ideas, let me know. One of the drawbacks to not driving is I can't just run to the store and grab things. And I ordered pine shavings. I was supposed to get them today. For some reason they didn't come. So I'm going to have to figure out something else to use for bedding. Uh, in the little, I'm gonna make a little container for the, the for Vienna, the one that's a little lethargic. And I need to figure out something for bedding and make her a little, little home. I found a pretty good size bin. I'm gonna clean it out and use that to temporarily house her. I'm probably gonna bring her in here for some warmth. So what I'm gonna use for bedding is I have an old organic cotton futon. I'm gonna rip that apart and use the stuffing. Took that bin, took some cotton, ripped it apart, small, real small, and I built a little ledge to put her food and water on to keep it out of the bedding. Okay, so I threw her in that little bin there and she's eating, so I think that's good. I'm probably gonna put her inside tonight, but for now I'm just gonna leave her there and let her eat. Um, that's all I have for now. I appreciate you watching, hanging out with us. Take it easy, have a good one.